What's up, people? Happy Halloween. Uh, excuse my voice. I am dying. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, so the uh, new Steam update, the the one that's been in beta for like a few weeks that they've been advertising and working on for like over a year, it, it came out officially to everyone um, yesterday on the 30th. Before that, it was out to beta users uh, for like a few weeks, like I said. So, um, as I kind of anticipated when that was going to happen, uh, there's a whole ton of posts on, on the Steam subreddit. Uh, people that just like don't understand how to use the new interface. Now, you have to keep in mind that, that uh, Steam subreddit is already full of people that have no idea how to use Steam. Like... It, it, I'm not joking. Like you'll literally see the same question posted like nine times in the same day. If you scroll down far enough and pay attention. Um, and it's, it, it's like almost all stuff you can Google easily and, and figure out for yourself. Um, I would say RTFM technically there isn't really a steam manual, but um, it's the internet, you know, it, it's crowdsourced. There's, there's at least 178 other dudes making videos explaining how to do stuff. And they're, I'm sure they're doing it better than I am. So, um, I mean, just to get into it, like one of the most common questions I'm seeing, and I, I can't, I can't understand why, because this has been a feature in Steam for literally seven years, if not more. Um, I honestly can't remember when they added it. I, I think it was like back when they first introduced big picture was it which i believe was like 2012 so one of the most common questions i keep seeing is is how do i set a uh, custom icon for a game <sighs> that's my brain cells and my hope for humanity dying um i don't know why it's a question but we'll just we'll go ahead and do it so uh step one you need to have an icon so, um, in the current version of Steam, the official icon size is 600 by 900 pixels. Um, the best way to do this is to go to SteamGrid. Uh, sorry, SteamGridDB.com, where you will literally find thousands and thousands and thousands of custom Steam Grid icons. Um, alternatively, you could go somewhere like. Uh, reddit.com slash steam grid which has a lot of the same stuff because you know we upload stuff to different sites um it's it's reddit though like so it, it's really not user friendly because you're unless you want to scroll through like 800 million things you're not going to find anything um and the reason is this the reddit search function is fucking awful it's it's god awful like you'll you'll search for stuff you know for a fact is there and it, it won't find it. Well, you know, whether you use Booleans or what, it just won't find stuff. So you can go there. Um, it's good that this post is, is uh, stickied on the top. So the new Steam interface supports animated icons. Um, you can use GIFs, GIFs, or you can use animated PNGs. Uh, you can also use it. I don't think you can actually use actually i know you can't use it um mp4s but there's a way that you can turn the mp4 into an animated still image um i don't know what it is and i don't care but if you look on this this uh, sub you'll find it so on that note of the animated icons there's uh, if you click this link here there's a google Docs spreadsheet that has like every single animated icon that's been released to date in, in a spreadsheet, you know, um, alphabetized, obviously, with the link to the post and a link directly to the image. Um, honestly, most of them are garbage. Uh, if you, I mean, if you want to use animated icons, that's whatever, you know, go ahead and do your thing. But um, I try to use them sparingly. Uh, like, the vast majority of these icons are just, like, uh, video clips that people have taken from the game and 
slap the logo on top of it. It's just, it looks like shit. It's lazy and there's like no artistic value to it whatsoever. So um, I try to stick with the posters that are actually you know official artwork, but have some slight animation to them so they look cool. So uh, and then there's another place you can go. Um, I don't think he's doing anything currently, but in the old version of Steam, uh, this was like probably the best place to go for icons. Uh, so you can go to it. The site is steam.cryotank.net. Uh, you can see here he's working on some stuff, but he, uh, he hasn't really made any like official posts yet. But uh, his his old icons were like were pretty dank. Um, and I mean they're still there. So you know you go to one of your sites here, you find an icon. Um, so what I'm looking for is um, after fall insanity. There may not be an icon. After fall insanity extended edition. So we'll go here, download the icon to somewhere. Um, that's my default downloads folder on this computer because this is my gaming PC. Um, I, I literally do nothing on this PC except for game and video edit and stuff. So, you know, they just, that's how I do things. Um, okay, so step two, I guess. Go to your library view, right click on the game, manage, set custom artwork. Find your uh, file. I the vast majority of these I didn't name correctly, um, and that's going to be a massive pain in the ass here in, in a while when I finally replace all the icons because then I'm going to have to go back and then rename them and then reset them. So there you go. Uh, right now I have my icons on small, so it's kind of hard to see. Um, but there you go. You set the icon. So uh, that used to be a slider bar that was up here in the right. Now you have to go into Steam menu and then settings uh, and then under library at the, the top, it'll give you an option. I think I had mine in medium before. I'm going to set it to large just to see what it looks like. And then it takes a second to reload. Oh, wow. That's like, uh, might be too big. Um, but yeah. So um, another common question I keep seeing, I, I again, I don't know why this is hard for people to figure out, but um, uh, it's, let's see here. Let me scroll up a bit. Um, well, okay, yeah, so while, while I'm here, just install games. I just want to be able to see which games are installed on my laptop, not the ones I can stream from my desktop. So, again, this is really not, uh, I mean, you shouldn't publicly ask this question because this has been a feature in Steam for literally years. They just changed how it looks. Um, so to see just the games that are installed, you want to go to Home, I'm actually going to switch this icon size because it's it's bothering me um, to medium. Uh, you go to home. Then this little button here is collections. By default, you're not going to have any collections unless you actually use Steam. Uh, so... Installed locally is a dynamic collection. That's what that little lightning bolt means. This is a default collection on literally everyone's computer that has Steam. So you, you can't say like, oh, I can't find it or, you know, it's not there. Because it's there. Um, go to installed locally and then that's going to show you only the games that are installed. Now, um, on mine... Pretty much 95% of these aren't installed. 
because you can see they're from origin all these are from origin right here um this is from gog it's not actually installed this is i don't even know where the hell this game is i guess uh you play this one is installed these three aren't that is that is that is that isn't uh that isn't this is from dmm game launcher that is installed um you know see what i'm saying so like It'll show you anything that's installed locally, but also, caveat, if you add non-Steam games to Steam, um, you can only do that if they're installed or if you're spoofing the EXE. So either way, they're technically installed. So it's going to show you all those games too. Um, while I'm on the screen, there's another question I keep seeing pop up. How do you sort installed games by um, disk size? Like, because the, the, one of the guys says, um, I don't have a big hard drive, so I want to look at my games and sort by disk size to see how much space I can gain by getting rid of games I don't play anymore. So, again, it's, it's right there on the installed locally screen. You just go to sort by size on disk. So... Metal Gear Solid 5 was greater than 20 gigabyte. Um, now, see, the thing here is, if you do have um, non-Steam games on your Steam, even if it if you're not spoofing them, like if you if you have the legit EXE added to Steam, it's still not going to show the file size. So, like this entire top row are all fake executables. Um, the code vein is not, but it, it show, if you look at it, it shows zero bytes. So it's, it's not going to show the directory size for those games. I don't know why it can't do that. Um, it's a really basic function. Like All you would have to do is, is just use built-in Windows code, stuff that's part of the .NET framework, you know, like just like system calls. Um, so whatever. But you can do it technically. Or you could just use tree size. You know. <laughs> if you if you just literally just use uh, tree size free, that can do the same thing. You can just directly delete the games through tree size. Or, I'm sorry, the entire directory, not the game. Uh, what else? What are some other pretty obvious questions here? Um, no. I don't know what that means. Which disk? He's talking about modular libraries, but what does it matter? Uh, I don't get it. <clears throat> this is a common question I keep seeing. Uh, a lot of people are complaining about the fact that there isn't a, like a, a full screen list view anymore. So that is like a dumb kind of thing that, that Valve did. They got rid of the list view. Uh, so like back in the day, again, prior to yesterday, um, if you went to view... I believe uh, view yeah whatever so I think it was up here there was like there are three icons like you could do um, grid mode list view or there was like a hybrid list view grid mode kind of thing so they got rid of all those options and now you you have to use grid mode but you also have a list on the side so people are wanting to expand this all the way across like it used to be it used to be uh text and it would show like made a critic score and then it would show an icon for the game you can't do that anymore uh technically there, there actually is a way to do it um i'll make another video on that on how to do like some of these hidden features but not right now these are just like common questions so uh what else 
No one cares about that. No one knows that answer except for EA. No. That's been answered so many times. The new artwork size is 600 by 800. Um, if you go on uh, Steam Grid DB and you go to upload, it'll actually tell you. Oh, I got a login. Hope I don't have to use my Steam Authenticator. How about you fucking log in? What do you. Garbage? You garbage? Quit being garbage. This is fucking stupid. <laughs> okay. So, um, oh my fucking god, dude. Are you kidding me right now? Fix your fucking trash nonsense website. This is ridiculous. This is, like, literally, this is unbelievable. This, uh, this website has this issue every now and then. It's, it's really fucking annoying. Like, it's, it's severely annoying. If you actually... You, God damn it. You're making me do this. You fucking garbage. <laughs> and so I was trying to to do this simply but apparently that's too much to ask for It's another feature that people like to whine about. Oh, why do I got to use two-factor authentication? Well, you don't have to, but um, unless you like getting your account stolen. Oh, I did it wrong. They emailed me a code. I'm like, my bad. <laughs> well, I'm like opening the Steam app trying to use the authenticator. <clears throat> now I got to scroll through eight majillion emails. I also don't know what my uh, Steam email is. Oh, come on with this bullshit. Here it is. It still doesn't fucking work. Dude, are you kidding? Like, they, honestly, this, this actually pisses me off. Like, why have functionality if it doesn't work? That's interesting. Uh, so apparently Steam Grid has like a, a game importer that'll let you import games automatically into Steam. I fucking literally am logged in. How are you gonna like fucking kick me out of my own fucking account? I really did. I just wanted to show off like a simple function. It's 
website is fucking broken. I'm not creating a fucking Steam account. I'm going to regret doing this for sure. Fuck. That's that's my email address if you want to bother me. I assure you I don't check that email so you'll be wasting your own time, not mine. Okay, if you warn me about cookies one more fucking time, we're going to have a problem. This is incredible. Uh, so whatever. If, okay, whatever. What I'm trying to convey here is that if you have an account, which you obviously you're not going to, you could log in and it would tell you, like, when you try to upload a custom icon, that it has to be 600 by 800 or it has to be 400. It has to be 342 by 482. And you can see here that it shows the dimensions. Um, it doesn't show what program they're supposed to be for. You just have to know. But you can technically sort by uh, image dimensions. So they still have the old Steam on here. You could view only 460 by 215s. Or you could view only 600 by 900s. Or GOG Galaxy, you could view only... Um, uh, what do you call it? Um, 342 by 42. And then if you actually click this, it'll show you Steam supports 460, 215, uh, slash 920 by 430. That's just 2x. Um, vertical Steam and then GOG Galaxy, which is not true. Um, S vertical Steam does actually support 342 by 482. It just isn't going to look as good on... Um, um, on large size so and then you can you can look and see um, <clears throat> well shit um, you can look and see uh, some people like me will upload multiple versions of icons so like you see i, I put one for steam vertical and then i also put one for geo uh, geog <clears throat> or you know separate for uh just geog or whatever so like i mean technically you could use the same thing either way for all of them but it, you can get icons that are that are meant for a certain program. Um, so at this point, I honestly forgot what I was talking about after trying to to log into this dumbass website that isn't working for some reason. Um, I've never had a problem with it before. I've, I've had it not log me in, but if you just refresh like 20 times, it usually works. I, just, I still don't understand why it's not working. Like, did I do something? I, just, I don't understand why. See, it's it's not even like. Why are you being fucking garbage? 
I don't understand. This is so asinine. Anyway, whatever. Um, I'm going to have to go back to that stupid Steam Reddit now. That's a, a thing. So if you want to get rid of that what's new bar, you have to go into off uh, offline mode, which is, I think personally is stupid. Um, I think they should just give you an option to disable it. Uh, that's not a real question. That's most of this is this is stupid bitching. Um, some of these are like legit questions. Uh, so, I might do another questions video if, if uh, there are enough legitimate questions that exist. The thing is, this this sub has been full of stupid questions since day one. Uh, people that just like literally refuse to use Google. Um, this guy is full of shit. You don't have a hundred and. 40 tools in your library. <laughs> Are you stupid? So I, I don't know what kind of crack this guy's smoking. Where is the collapse? I'll expand all buttons. It's not on the old right click. Um, it doesn't need to be on the old right click. Uh, whoops, I opened up Netflix. Literally, it's the same as it as it's always been. Left click, left click. Like, it, what what kind of question is that? <clears throat> so anyway, my voice is uh, I'm losing my voice, and I kind of need that for work tomorrow for a couple of hours at least, uh, meetings and shit, you know. So um, I'm gonna make another video soon, and peace.